Bye. The Norwegian Gamer. Hi guys, hi for Ladev here, the Norwegian Gamer. And uh, this is some Blacklight Retribution for y'all. This game is a uh, free-to-play game which you can download from uh, Play Blacklight. The uh, link will, will be in the, the description. And um, it's supported by microtransactions. And uh, for a free-to-play game, it's actually quite solid. It, um, it feels very much like uh, Call of Duty, I guess. It's based on the Unreal Engine, so... It's a proven engine, and... Uh, uh, it, it, the game feels good. I mean, the feeling of the game is very good, um, to put it, uh, if you know what I mean. Because some free-to-play games, like Battlefield Play for Free, it feels kind of wrong. It feels like it's so uh, so cheap. But uh, this game feels um, feels uh, almost AAA, I have to say. So as you can see, uh, Black Light Retribution is played um, kind of... Uh, different than most first-person shooters. So as you can see, what I pull up here and now and again is called the HRV, which lets you see your enemies and friendlies um, marked out in the world. It's kind of a wall hack. So friendlies are in blue, uh, enemies are in orange, and you'll be able to see where everyone's located at at any moment. The problem is, however, that anyone can see you at any time, and there's almost always someone watching you which means that you're not going to be able to sneak around because someone's going to see you sneaking up and be able to wait for you in a corner since you can't shoot while using the hrv you're not going to be able to use it when you're on the move uh, much because then you'll walk around a corner and suddenly there's a guy there or like that like that this time i'm actually lucky uh, with the first guy and the second guy manages to take me out Another problem that I find with this game is that there's something called hard suits, which you can purchase with the in-match uh, CP, which you see down in the left-hand corner. And the hard suits are kind of like mechs, but the problem is they have a lot of health, obviously, but the only way to eff effectively take them down is use the rocket launchers, which you can buy in the match from the same place where you buy the hard suits. The problem is, however, that they... Well, they cost, they cost CP, of course, but um, if you die, you lose the remaining rockets of the rocket launcher, which is ridiculous. You've just spent quite a lot amount of CP on the rocket launcher to be able to take out the hard suit, and then you lose it all if you die. And the hard suit is pretty hard to take down, and it has a rail gun which can shoot through walls, which means that you'll probably give one shot off, then it'll shoot you with a rail gun or something, which is. It's very unbalanced, that's my point. And this game would be would have been so much better if it was easier to unlock things for free. I mean, of course you can buy, you know, the the uh, some in-game currency and buy uh, stuff in the game for an unlimited or infinite time. Because the thing is, when you purchase uh, in-game content for the in with the in-game credit that you earn by playing you'll only earn it for one day or seven days to purchase it purchase it for uh, an infinite time you'll have to pay an obscene amount of in-game credits which are almost impossible to reach without paying um, making it very they're kind of go saying like saying that okay you did very well in this match and the next day you do well again and they say you did very well in this match now you only have to do well in a hundred more matches and you'll be able to buy this smg for forever and it's like i don't want to do this for a hundred matches having to buy a new smg over and over and over again each day i'm gonna play this game that's ridiculous and the only way to really do it easily is by using uh, real cash for in-game credits which I mean I get that that's their point but you don't have to make it so obvious that you need to pay to win or not pay to win but pay to actually 
bother playing this game. It's it's sad, and I hope um, I, I've I've been playing some Tribes Ascend late, lately, and they actually have done it right. I mean, you can spend money, but they're in, the goals that you want to reach they're not out of sight or out of reach. You kind of feel like ah, it's just a couple of matches more, and I'll have it. Uh, uh, so I, I I think that tri uh, Tribes Ascend has done right, and uh, another note that I just want to make uh, the data notes which are kind of like perks uh, you don't have them permanently you earn them by playing and uh, you put uh, you put them in the slots and everything but the thing is they expire so you have to change up what data notes you use at any time which is kind of cool because it forces you to kind of change game styles or play style so um that's the end of the match I hope you guys enjoyed this video hope to see you next time snack this Oh, ho, 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 ho.